Pyroelectric sensors are very sensitive components, which measure even weakest signals from moving warm objects. This high sensitivity comes along with challenges when dealing with high-intensity electromagnetic waves like used for wireless communication. To illustrate the effect of some product design parameters, we have prepared a very simple test setup. It consists of a high-frequency signal generator, which feeds an ultra-wideband antenna. This antenna emits an electromagnetic wave to which we have exposed our motion sensors. The motion sensor is connected to a data acquisition system, which shows the signal like it is coming from the sensor after band pass filtering. The electromagnetic interference is a very complex field and all findings here will likely be different in your device. We generate short electromagnetic pulses, which we tuned to have a big effect on the sensor. A continuous wave would have a much smaller effect. This is why most customers discover issues not in EMI testing laboratories, but rather when adding wireless communication features to their devices. We start with a standard digital center with dual elements and long LEDs. We cover the center with glass to block it from direct infrared radiation. The influence of short electromagnetic pulses is directly visible in the sensor signal. The amplitude reaches up to 200 counts, which is way above the tolerable limit. We strongly recommend checking the raw sensor signal when testing your devices for electromagnetic interference in order to compare the efficiency of design changes. Well-known countermeasures, which we do not discuss here, can be a metal shielding around exposed LEDs and capacitors close to the sensor. We recommend to cut LEDs as short as possible to reduce the sensitivity to electromagnetic waves. It is not surprising that now the interference is much lower. In fact, in this experiment we reduced the amplitude by a factor of 10. You should always check the influence of the whole electromagnetic spectrum, since a countermeasure might simply shift the resonance to a different frequency range. If you are able to increase the distance to the antenna, we strongly encourage you to do so. Especially in very close proximity, the electric field strength can be orders of magnitude greater than in far proximity. The optimal distance to the antenna does not have to be necessarily the maximal one, since antennas do not have simple field patterns in close proximity. Also, the sensor's orientation in respect to the antenna matters. Like shown in this experiment, you might even be able to block the waves completely by rotating the sensor to a certain angle. But what if you need long LEDs? and have no space to play around with component placements in your product. Instead implementing expensive metal shields or redesigning your PCBs, we might be able to provide you EMI-improved sensors, which are compatible to your current one. Like demonstrated here, such a sensor might outperform a standard sensor even in a non-optimal condition. Please reach out to our EMI experts in case you need further support and we will help you to overcome your challenges.